Like, what is the what is the secret sauce to growing on the bird app these days, man? Two minutes. Yeah, so it's simpler than it looks, you know. Like for me, the recipe is basically a focus on engaging and connecting with interesting people, and the rest will flow easily, right? Because Twitter is like a great place for making connections with other. And one of the, the other thing that I wanted to say before is that one one of the persons that are responding to my tweet, he said like. Uh, Instagram is an image platform, but Twitter is an idea platform. And in most cases, businesses are driven by ideas, not images. And shout out to Josh Spector, who was the, the person saying this. So uh, basically, you know, Twitter is built on ideas and the, how easy it is to exchange ideas with, with other people, you know, and quick feedback loops, you know, feedback loops, sorry. Uh, you have an idea, you post it and people, you know, getting feedback in there super quickly. So it's super, you know, that I think that's the true power of Twitter. And just to make it for me, if you want a recipe, it will be, Tweet once or twice a day, but focus the rest of the time in engaging with interesting people in your niche. And that's it, you know. Of course, threads help, and I get it. You know, we are all tired about templated uh, threads. You know, it's it's just starting to be super painful to see all of those recycle <laughs> hooks. But for me, it's only, you know, they rely a lot on clickbait and in these templates. But for me, it's only clickbait if the, you know, if the juice is, is worth the squeeze, you know, if it's not worth the squeeze. So... If what they say is good, I don't care if they are using a template, if the content is good. The problem is that most of these threads are not that insightful and they are just doing it for the numbers. But if you dive a deep deeper, you, are, you will be able to find like the good content. And you as a creator can also leverage those templates to get that initial boost in visibility. But then, you know, make sure that your content is actually really good. And, you know, by following these simple recipes and, you know, using templates here and there with, with some caution and measure, I think you should be able to, to grow a teacher audience without problems. So uh, going back to something I, I mentioned at the, at the beginning of this uh, is just this idea of being a consumer or a producer of content. And the one concern that I have with your recommendation, which is about, you know, mm -hmm. maybe just posting once or twice a day, while it is more manageable, I agree. That's like, you know, it feels like a lighter lift than like, mm -hmm. oh, I got to create all this content and be posting 10 times a day on Twitter and all this stuff. Like the one trap that I would be concerned about is just, hey, I start engaging and then I start wasting a bunch of time on Twitter. At least for me, like, I, the, oh, man, Twitter is like my my vice. You know, it's just like, I just get in yeah. there. I just get sucked into that. So how, how do you just quick follow up? Like, how do you do that without, like wasting much of time yeah very 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 easy i do time, i time block my engagement you know so basically i have two 30 minute slots one in the am one in the pm and i try to be um, obviously there's no one watching my behind my back if i do it or not but i try to be very mindful about the time i spend on twitter because so sometimes i just find you know myself closing twitter on the browser and just pulling on my phone and checking twitter again it's like no 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 right. you, know, you know but I, I think that's the same that it happens then with instagram and probably any other social platform you know we are we're kind of hooked and we just need to be very mindful that at least me i'm using it as a business tool so it's just for business um and you know just be super mindful about the time that you spend on there and time blocking for me has been like a life life saver <laughs>